All right, welcome to lab number one with AZ104 managing Microsoft Entra ID identities. Uh, just a quick view here. So if we go over to Entra ID, uh, then we have a possibility to manage users and groups here on the left-hand side. Um, with users, we can create users as part of our directory. Um, in our case, we're going to call the user az104-user1. Uh, hyphen user one. Um, And the display name is actually going to be the same. Uh, Auto-generate password, enable the um, account. And then we're going to give the user a job title. It's going to be uh, IT lab administrator, as uh, suggested by the uh, lab instructions. And we're going to put them into an IT department as well. We're going to set the usage location to be United. Oh. Interesting. Something weird is going on here. United States. Yeah. We'll create that user. And now if we refresh this pane, we're able to see it. We can also invite external users to our tenant. For example, you could invite me. Um, my name is Johannes Freine. Um, let's put a nice message here. Uh, and then um, properties. Maybe give them the same job title and department. Cool. And in white. So this creates a uh, user uh, for our environment. However, um, we're inviting the user via email. Now this user should also be visible here. Yes, it is. Cool. So um, then let's work a little bit with groups instead. So, so we have our um, lab administrators. So let's create a group for them. And I give it a name and then a nice description. Like this. Um, and then we could add an owner here. So let's make me the owner of the group. Um, and then we could add the uh, members to be all of the IT lab guys. So let's say me and that AZ104 user one. Let me create the group. And now if we refresh, we should be able to see it. And in it, we can of course also see uh, the members and everything. All right, that's everything for this quick um, lab. Uh, thanks for listening and see you in the next one.